Uh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. I'm particularly pleased to see uh, so many of uh, my students from <coughs> last semester. Uh, I'd like to thank the journal uh, for sponsoring uh, the event, and uh, I, I look forward to our interaction and discussion. Uh, can everyone hear me? Because there is a microphone. I'll turn it on if we need it. Uh, anybody want the microphone? You okay? You like the microphone? I apologize. I have uh, hearing problems. Okay. Actually, there are seats uh, up front, so if you can't hear, it would be actually good for you to come and sit up front here because um, you know these seats are going at least at this point. It's like church. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our our format will be the following. Uh, I'm going to make a five-minute introductory statement, uh, and then uh, Professor Bostachari uh, will uh, make a five-minute uh, statement about uh, his views on this issue, and uh, Chris will uh, make a, a similar statement, five minutes, and uh, following that, we'll enter into discussion and uh, continue that until about a half past the hour when we'll open it up for questions, and we'll see how this goes. So um, let me get started. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to say, first of all, that um, this panel could not be more current or critical uh, in terms of uh, current issues and world stability. If you look at the New York Times this morning, the lead story headline in the New York Times today is that um, the U.S. increases pressure of economic war on Tehran. Those are fighting words. Uh, the lead story in this morning's edition of the New York Times states that the outlines for a nuclear deal have been clear for months. And th this is what they outline for such a deal. That R Iran would have to do the following in terms of the U.S. position. Uh, four items. One, limit the number of centrifuges that produce enriched uranium. Two, cap the amount of nuclear fuel in their possession. Three, agree to ship its most potent stockpiles, the stuff that can be most quickly converted to bomb fuel, out of the country. And four, reveal its complete history of nuclear work. In return for this, the United States says that Iran would get an acknowledgement that it has a right to peacefully enrich uh, nuclear uh, fuel, and the U.S. would gradually lift the sanctions. In response, the Iranians say that the, the sanctions must be uh, lifted first. Now, uh, just last week, Iran announced that it 